Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching. Here's a look at today's top automotive industry stories. Wholesale used vehicle prices slipped again in the first half of April, as early sales estimates indicate the market is experiencing a slight decline in pre-owned demand. According to Cox Automotive, used car prices at auction fell roughly 2% from March in the first two weeks of the month, dragging the year-over-year -year value down 13.7%. All segments saw weaker pricing in April, with compacts and electric vehicles losing the most value compared to 2023. Mexican lawmakers are denying incentives to Chinese automakers due to pressure from U.S. officials, according to sources cited by Reuters. In a January meeting between an unnamed car manufacturer and Mexican leaders, the company was informed that it would not receive subsidies for building a factory in the country and that further meetings with Chinese brands were indefinitely on hold. American automakers and politicians have expressed alarm over a loophole that would allow China-made vehicles to invade tariffs by crossing the border between the U.S. and Mexico. Rivian is making another round of layoffs as it looks to achieve profitability in an increasingly competitive EV landscape. The company now plans to let go of 1% of its workforce, a step it said was necessary, quote, to support our goal to be gross margin positive by the end of the year. The move marks the second time Rivian has laid off employees in 2024. Several months of stagnating sales have led multiple brands to downsize in recent weeks, including market frontrunner Tesla, which plans to lay off more than 10% of its global staff. In a last-ditch effort to avoid plant closures, Stellantis has submitted a $100,000 payment to Illinois' auto parts supplier McLean Fog Component Solutions following several months of heated dispute between the two companies. The manufacturer had originally agreed to pay $1.4 million to the vendor earlier this year to cover price increases. However, McLean Fogg says it never received the money and was instead sued by Stellantis for causing delays. The last minute payment comes shortly after a judge denied an emergency motion by Stellantis attorneys that would have forced the supplier to continue deliveries without granting the pay increase. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with Gloria Purdy, director of the Hoffman Auto Group's Talent Engagement Center to discuss the importance of incorporating employee feedback into your company culture. CBT News is expanding its reach like never before and is launching in over 70 million broadcasting households. Whether you have Roku, Apple TV, or a mobile device running on Android or iOS, you can now enjoy our engaging, in-depth interviews with dealers, automakers, trade associations, best-selling authors, motivational speakers, and so much more, whenever and wherever you are. Simply search CBT News in the App Store of your smart TV. Not only are dealers, you know, challenged with finding top, top talent, it's also about retaining them. What's working at Hoffman for you? You know, for us, you know, the one thing that is a part of our strategy and what we um, like to do is we like to listen to the internal customer. Uh, recently, we rolled out our first engagement survey. Um, excitingly, um, I'm happy to say that we received 96% uh, participation. And taking that information and making change internally to create um, the culture that makes everyone want to come to work every day and continue the legacy of the Hoffman Auto Group um, is really important to us. So I think uh, one of our major strategies is listening to our employees' voice and understanding what they really are looking for because that always changes um, over the years. And how do you, you pool that, right? When you get them to discuss things that they want. Um, you know, back in the day, I feel like it's sometimes almost taboo to speak your mind, right? But are you finding people are a little bit more open in today's day and age? 
I think there's a combination. So we definitely took that into account when we rolled out the engagement survey, the fact that we wanted people to feel safe and comfortable being very transparent and honest. Um, and we did a partnership with a third party so that individuals understood that it wasn't Gloria behind the computer sure. um, checking in to see who's saying what. It was really geared towards getting an overview of our employees' voice to make the right changes. We um, This is actually a, an additional step in our process and our strategy of listening to our internal customers' voice. Um, in the past, when um, COVID um, hit, we actually introduced a confidential suggestion box to all of our employees where individuals could put in suggestions where they could, you know, share who they were so we could communicate with them directly or they could leave their name off so that it could be confidential. I think that step on top of our culture um, really helped people feel confident that they could share what they truly thought. And knowing that the Hoffman family was very passionate about hearing the truth, not a bunch of bobbleheads, right? Like we want the truth um, so that we can make the right changes for everybody. And you can watch this full interview right here at cbtnews.com. That wraps up our coverage for today, but we do invite you right back here tomorrow morning on cbtnews.com. Remember, you can stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry by following us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. And now you can find CBTs in over 70 million broadcasting households. We're on Roku, Apple TV, Android, and iOS devices. Simply search CBT News in the App Store on your smartphone or device, and you can watch our programming whenever, wherever. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching you. Have a good one. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.